G'day. Um, today I'm going to show you how to put a stag handle on a, on a blade. Um, I'm making this this video for for a friend of mine, Jerry. Um, he uh, he asked me to make the video, um, and this is the first opportunity I've had to to actually get out here and uh, and do that. So um, yeah. We'll get on with that now. Okay, before you start any word, any work on a uh, on, on on a blade, um, tape the blade um, because you just you just never know you, your hand might slip. Um, and this will at least reduce the damage if uh, if not stop it completely. Um, so yeah, good move. Um, tape the take the blade up before you start work. Okay, I'm going to reduce this tang down a bit at the end so it's more like a rat tail. Rat tail tang. Um, it'll make it easier to, to put into the uh, into the antler. Now with bigger pieces of antler you'll probably find that you can uh, just push the tan straight in. Um, if you want to pin it afterwards it's entirely up to you. Uh, I haven't pinned my hunting knife. Uh, because I don't need to. It's a good strong Good, uh, good strong fit. Um, there's a couple of ways you can fit an angler handle. Um, as I say with the larger the larger pieces you can very often just push it straight in. Um, if you have trouble pushing it into the antler um, you can boil the antler first and while it's still hot push the tang into it or probably more correctly push the antler handle onto the tang um, it won't, you won't be able to just do it with your fingers or your hand and just push it in um, it's going to be a nice tight fit The other way of doing it is to drill the centre of the angler with a drill bit smaller than the size of your tang and push it in. Alternately, if you can't do that, then drill one the size of the tang and uh, push it in but then you'll have to pin it. Okay, I don't want to have to pin this one um, but I can if I want to. Okay, we're going to have to cut the angler. I'm always at odds when doing this because you cut it for, for one purpose and by doing that you ruin a complete piece for doing anything else. Um, it's got ends on it which I which would you know be good for something else um, but right now I can't find a better better piece of angler uh, for the job and, uh, and I need to get this video made so I'm gonna cut it. 
and then I still might be to use it for something. Um, there's always things you can do with anchor, like making buttons and all that sort of thing. Now this one hasn't got much of a centre, uh, which is good in some ways, um, makes it difficult in others. Um, probably about there. Let's see how we go. Pencil. Well, we're hoping to go all the way. Maybe we'll go as far as, as far as there. Okay. So I'll make it a bit a bit deeper. A bit deeper. Down to there. Okay. If I stop short, it doesn't matter. Starting off with a smallish drill bit, I can always go bigger, <laughs> but I can't go smaller if I'm wrong. So, I'll try this one. It's going in pretty easy, as I expected it would do, being in the core, almost to the end of those threads. So, I could the end of those. Uh, those cutting edges so I could go as far as that cutting edge I want to. Oh, I think I'll go there. Okay. So this is sort of a trial and error task. No guarantees. It'll work first time. But it's no big deal. Might uh, prove a little difficult getting the, getting 
getting it back off again if it doesn't go all the way in, but I've got this blade sitting on a piece of wood just in case I end up it end up slipping in the jaws of the vice. It doesn't, it's good. Okay, now how do I want that handle to sit? It's the cutting edge there. It's got a bit of a shape to it. I think we'll try it about there. Okay, let's see what happens. No. Console right now, it's not going to go. You've got to feel it as you go. No point forcing something. It's going to be twenty, plenty tight enough as it is. As you can see, I can move a little bit on the tin. Okay. It's going to have to have a much, much bigger, bigger hole. Um, it's it's a reasonably wide tang, and this is a, 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 a piece of narrow um, angler. So you've got to be very careful that you just don't go hammering it on and end up splitting it. Okay, so we'll get a bigger drill bit. Okay, that's gone on nicely. It's gone on nicely. Okay, take the tape off carefully. This is a very, very sharp blade. Putting it off from the back so I don't have to worry about cutting my fingers on this part. And pulling it down from the back. And same on the other side, pulling it down from the back. And there it is. That's a nice nice little knife um, I dare say my wife would probably use this in the kitchen um, she likes small knives and she wanted me to uh, she wanted me to shorten uh, the blade on one of our old old butcher knives um, but uh, I actually think this is a lot easier so uh, there it is the finished product uh, I, I like it a lot. I, I wish I had. Uh, I wish I had a use for a little blade like this, but um, 
I've already got all the blades I need to carry with me so uh, anyway there it is um, thanks for watching and I'll uh, I'll catch you next time